let's just take training, strength training, all the debates and infighting about methods and methodology. And if you step back and just look at the forest, it's just fucking training. Yep. Right. So to the common person interested in just getting stronger, this is just gibberish. Mm -hmm. It's it's so irrelevant that it's ridiculous, (laughs) you know, and, and everything is like that. And perspective is key where you can look at the infighting, you know, say somebody saying something about your squat or whatever it is. You know, there could be somebody saying something about your squat in a gym in L.A. right now, in, you know, New York right now. You don't hear it. Mm-mm. You don't give a fuck because you don't hear it. You don't know who these people are. Who gives a fuck? You don't right, care. Right. But now if they become this anonymous number, 008H56 right. Instagram handle, underscore big lift, and that same person makes that comment, all of a sudden the person's butt hurt. Like, how's that person any different than the person in the gym you don't know right. that's saying that your squat was high? Does it really matter? Because in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't. <laughs> you know, and if you ever were at a meet with all these people, very few people are ever going to say anything bad to you. They'll be asking, you know, for you to sign their book. Yes. They'll be telling you how much they like you as a lifter, admire you. I think that sometimes they just they just don't think, you know what I mean? They don't think when they say stuff, they don't understand that it's real life. Mm-hmm. But it, I guess in some ways it isn't real life to them because it's there's no consequences most of the time. Oh, well, the, And there are those that are just doing it to get a rise out of people. They're mm-hmm. trolls, you yeah. know, and yeah. the art of trolling has dropped tremendously over the past 20 years, but that's a different yeah. conversation there where, I mean, some trolling, if you could, Years ago, if you could troll somebody and piss them off, but do it in a funny way, that was that was a high five, man. That yeah. was commendable. Yeah. But usually, the people could brush it off, and that's good, and yeah. it's, it they were they were good with that. But there are those people that are doing that, and that's the last person I would think you'd ever want to get any satisfaction to. Right. Like somebody that's purposely trying to get under your skin. If they try to do that in real life, you just kind of walk away, like what the fuck, get away. I've tried to explain that to people when. They get real motivated. They're, they're generally the fiery people that get really motivated and they like people to talk shit to them and they get motivated. And I've seen people saying, I'm okay, I'm not going to, I never compete raw. Watch this. I'm going to do raw. And I'm thinking, I've had these conversations with younger lifters. And I'm like, you can do what you want, but think about it. Are you just going to let them dictate what you do forever? <laughs> yeah. Then after that, they're going to say, well, you can't lift with knee wraps or you can't lift with mm-hmm. one knee wrap or no belt or no chalk or it's a rabbit hole to go down. So you really can't worry about what other people mm-hmm. uh, think or say, because I used to be like that. I used to be sensitive about it and I wouldn't like break down and cry and mm-hmm. like lay in my wife's lap or anything, you know, upset about it. But I would, I would get pissed. And well, if want... it changes your training, then it's, they won. They did. You know, and if it produces cortisol, they won. Cause yep. now you got to recover from that. Yep. You know, it's, that I don't see how you'd want to give anybody that power. And it's so easy to avoid. Yeah. You just don't read it. Don't respond. And, you, <laughs> and you, when I broke the, the all time record in, uh, 2011 with 1185 at the power station pro am, um, the West side meet, um, you know, I was getting some ridicule because Jason Pegg, Jason Pegg was like, uh, nope, squat. I love Brian, but the squat wasn't good. Mm-hmm. And then the video came out and he saw that I got the, squ- I got the rack command before, and uh, I said, how do you, how should I handle all this? You said, post the video up and then just move on. Don't reply to anyone. Don't make a big deal. And uh, there were still some people that said the squat was, you know, mm-hmm. high, higher than, you know, whatever they say. And and I've never squatted deep, mm-hmm. you know, I, I'm whatever. I just don't, I've never really been the person to say, man, I squat so deep. Well, that's what I want to do. Some people take a lot of pride in that. I've, mm-hmm. I've taken pride in getting them in. And sometimes I have to take them deeper. Sometimes I don't have to take them as deep. Um, with that said, um, I used to let people get under my skin. But th- that from that point forward, when you're like, just let it go. I let it go and it went away. It just no, it went it away. It always goes away. Yeah. You know, it always goes away. And I gave this advice to some female lifters a couple of years ago. I said, hey, you didn't ask for it, which I don't do anymore. I'll never anymore give unsolicited advice to people because... 
um, they'll always hate you for it. Yes. It, it, it doesn't benefit, you know? Mm -hmm. And even if the people don't mean to be sensitive or egotistical, and that's what it comes down to also when people get butthurt about their lifts being attacked, it's an, it's about their ego. Their, their, their ego is fragile and, and they should just be proud of the lift. If they're not proud of the lift, then fine. If they are, then who cares what people say, yeah. you know? Well, the lift is, it's, it's also what you did. You know, it's not you personally. Right. So if somebody don't like the lift, they're not saying they don't like you. And I think people mm -hmm. get that really, really <laughs> fucked up. You know, it's two different things. But yeah. and I can see where the signals get mixed because people put a lot of themselves into that. Yeah. But it's still not them. You know, it's it's not. Yeah. Joe Rogan said a few times that you have to be very careful when you're critiquing fighters because they go in there with the mindset they could not come out of the octagon that night alive. And when you're picking on them and belittling them, there's a difference between critiquing them mm -hmm. and actually bashing them, saying, what the hell is this person doing? He didn't train, he can't fight. And that's happened at times, and the fighters get really pissed because that's their life's work, yep. and they're risking everything going in there. So I, I get it isn't the same with powerlifting, so I'm, don't misconstrue that, but there is a big price that we pay to get on the platform mm -hmm. and do it. So. Uh, the biggest thing is just letting it go and let, let people say what they have to say, you know, mm -hmm. and, and then let you can't it change it. You know, like, you can't control it either. The only the only thing I haven't seen done is for somebody to do a lift that's controversial and then to actually post. Man, that was high as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I got it passed. Yeah. Wh what's anybody going to say? Yeah. Like, what are they going to say then? Nothing. You know, they, they can't. You mm -hmm. know, it's like, look, I did what I had to do. The judges gave it to me fucking thumbs up you know <laughs> <laughs> great and and go that route because it it really is it falls on the judges mm -hmm. it shouldn't fall on the lifter but the judges are never the ones that get called out and i get it you know i kind of see but in other sports that's never the case yep. you don't see the receiver getting called all kinds of shit for the touchdown you know it's that he it's, clearly didn't have both feet in or whatever yeah it be. it's yeah. the refs that get the shit but yeah. not not in power lift it's never the case it's never the ref it's never the meat director it's never it's always the lifter yeah like they have any control well then they tore they turn it into a moral high ground too so what kind of person are you that it just accepts garbage lifts yeah and it's like oh come on that's a little bit different you're you going to talk about morality for a sport that you take and do selfishly away from friends and family for three hours four or five times a week you know it's just you know it's that's the last thing to use to determine somebody's integrity or morality. <laughs>